Out Kipnis. Two down, the batter is Francisco Lindor. Boy, good heater up and in. And that's the thing, Kipnis knew he was kind of cheating on some of these pitches, but was getting some pitches in the zone. Chapman elevates that pitch up and in, and it ends up being strike three as Kipnis swings through it. Bottom of the ninth. Ball game approaching the four hour mark. And the Cubs trying to send it into extra innings. Lindor at the plate. Hits a fly ball, shallow right, should be routine for Hayward. He's there, he's got it. Game seven of the World Series is going to go into extra frames. At the end of nine, absolutely nothing has been decided. It's the Cubs six and the Indians six. Back with a 10th inning. You are listening to the World Series on the score. Rain has returned, and it is raining hard enough that the umpires have decided to delay things for the time being. So the grounds crew now going about the business of hustling to pull that gigantic plastic tarp over the uh, grass and dirt of the infield, and they're doing it as quickly as possible to keep the field as dry as possible. So Ron, we are going to be under a delay in addition to having a 10 inning game, at least 10 innings in right. game seven for the resumption of play. 10th inning, nobody out, nobody on. Kyle Schwarber to bat. And the fans realize that the ball game will continue. Looks like some fans have either gone home or maybe walked upstairs to get out of the rain. Something tells me they'll, they'll be back. Schwarber leads it off. Schwarber two for four in the game, takes high ball one. The last Indians game seven, 1997, in Florida, that also went extra innings. 17-minute delay, we understand. Schwarber rips a base hit into right field. A bullet between Napoli and Kipnis. Kipnis was 30 feet out onto the grass and dove toward the line, couldn't get it. Schwarber continues to do amazing things, Ron. Well, when you pitch Schwarber inside uh, and you, you pitch right into his strength, he's got such a short swing. He pounds this ball into that hole and in the right field, and now the Cubs will have, I believe, a pinch runner for Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber leaves a three-hit game in game seven of the World Series. He gets congratulations and hugs from all of his teammates. And we're still trying to identify that's Albert Almora Jr. running at first. Chris Bryant at the plate. Shaw ready in the pitch to Chris. Down low, ball one. Elmora very fast. Being held by Napoli. Bryant with a warning track fly ball, a single, a walk, and a strikeout, and two runs scored. Now the 1-0 to Chris. Fouled away, Shaw got away with one. That was a wheelhouse delivery. That's that cut fastball was left up, but it is at 96 miles an hour. Shaw's got a very good arm. Chris had a great swing. He's fouled it straight back. Otero and Bauer warming up in the Cleveland bullpen. The pitch, Bryant pops it up foul off to the right out of play. A ball and two strikes on Chris. Cubs six, end in six, 10th inning. Almora taking a conservative lead. He does not want to get picked off. Bryant trying to get a hold of one. And the one two by Shaw. And Bryant takes a little bit high. Didn't miss by much. Boy, Chris has had just great command of the strike zone tonight. 
all night long. He's taking pitches all around the zone. And when something's been in there to go ahead and put a good swing on it, he has. Tenth inning in game seven of the World Series. Just when you thought we couldn't go any further, we do. Right? Cubs haven't won a title since 1908. Bryant hits a high fly ball, right center field. That goes Davis near the warning track and makes the catch. Tagging Almora going to second, and he's in there at second base. Bryant just missed a home run. Davis caught it to the right of dead center, right up against the wall in deep right center. If that ball's hit 20 to 30 minutes ago when the wind was howling towards right center field, that ball is long gone, and it ends up being caught right at the wall in center field. Chris gave it a ride. Here's Anthony Rizzo. Now first base is open. The Indians pondering walking Rizzo to get to Zobrist. Mickey Callaway, the pitching coach, out to the mound. And the home plate umpire, Sam Holbrook, is going to move things along. There is still a threat of rain in the forecast. Cubs 6, Indians 6, top of the 10th inning with one down. And Rizzo ready to stand in. I just can't imagine Cleveland pitching to Anthony Rizzo with the base open. The catcher Gomes has not squatted yet behind the plate, nor will he. They're going to walk him. Elmore now will remain alert at second. There's ball one outside. Intentional walk to Rizzo. This has that feeling, Ron, of being in the theory of let someone else beat you. Boy, without question. Anthony's had some great swings. Big home run yesterday. Almora will remain in the game as the DH and bat second. Right now, he's the go-ahead run. That was alert base running by Albert to move up on the long fly ball by Bryant. Davis, not a very good throwing arm, and once again, not really getting himself set to make a throw. Runners at first and second. Rizzo trotting to first. And here is Ben Zobrist. He has hit so many big hits this season. He's batting left-handed. Ben hitless tonight, but he's had some good swings. A nail-biter at Progressive Field in Ohio. This should be a good matchup for Zoe, that cutter inside. He usually handles the ball inside well as a left-handed hitter. Zobris takes high, ball one. We've got a couple of good run producers here with a chance. Zobrist and then Addison Russell on deck. from Shaw. Zobrist will take a strike. Outfield straight away. The right fielder Martinez not all that deep. He wants to be able to make a throw home, of course. Almora leads at second. Rizzo from first. Tie game, the 1-1. Strike two calls. So he didn't like the call, Pat. That pitch might have been on a corner, might have been just a little bit away. Pretty good pitch by Shaw right on the block. Right-handed pitcher, left-handed batter. And the one-two. Bounced foul, then protecting. That pitch was probably borderline high and outside, but he did not want to be called out on strikes. Elmore at second base doing a good job taking a look at where the outfielders are positioned to make sure A, he doesn't get doubled off, but B, if the ball's hit, where the position, where the players are, are positioned, 
so he can get a decent jump at second base on a base hit. Tie game, 10th inning, one down in the pitch. Ground ball to third, base hit down the left field line. The go-ahead run will score. The ball is backhanded by Geyer. Rizzo goes to third, double for Zobrist. Cubs lead 7-6. You talk about a big plate appearance for the Chicago Cubs. Zobrist against Shaw, a backdoor cutter, and Zoe shoots it down the third base line after protecting the protecting the plate, shoots it down the line, a run scores Elmora, Rizzo to third, and it comes with second and third and only one out and a run in in the tenth inning. Ben Zobris with an RBI double. Russell will not bat. They'll walk him intentionally. Miguel Montero coming up. Cubs seven, end in six. Zobris does such a good job of handling guys that throw hard. He has a good short swing. He gets that backdoor cutter and just goes with it. What a great swing and a good pitch by Shaw. Albert Almora scoring the go-ahead run. And again, alert base running by Albert to move up from first to second on the fly ball by Chris Bryant. And that's what forced the Indians to walk Rizzo and have to face Zobris. Right, now his first at-bat of the night, Miguel Montero. I do recall Miggy with a big at-bat with the bases loaded partner. Uh, Joel Blanton of the Dodgers in game one of the NLCS. Pinch hitting. He is now batting. This is not a pinch hit. He's in the game defensively. Cubs seven, end in six. Bases loaded one away. The Indians have the infield in. Shaw from the stretch deals. Fastball high. We often bring up the point run when you walk somebody intentionally, it forces the pitcher to throw strikes. Easier said than done. Right-handed pitcher, left-handed batter. Peggy just looking for something up that he can get at least a sacrifice fly. Montero bounces one a foul off his foot. Rizzo the runner at third. That could be a very big run at third base. Nobody throwing in the Cub bullpen. Chapman was in the game to end the ninth. Carl Edwards Jr. has been throwing. Yeah, I believe Carl, Pat, actually is probably ready from just watching him a while ago throw. Cubs have already taken the lead here in the 10th inning. The pitch to Montero. Ground ball, left field, base hit. One run is in. Silvers to round third, holding. Cubs lead 8-6. Miguel Montero comes through. And now the Cubs lead by two. Boy, a great at-bat by Miggy. He stays inside the ball with his hands infield drawn in. Doesn't try to do too much. He just shoots it the other way. Comes with their second run here at the top of the 10th. Terry Francona to the mound. He's going to have to make a change. Miguel Montero coming through. How about eight different Cubs with RBIs in a ball game? Well, you know, it's been 108 years since their last title. Two down. Cubs lead by a run. Tying run at first. Martinez at the plate. Bryant guards the line at third. Here we go, Montgomery's pitch. Her ball strike, 0 and 1. Outfielder Sonny Cubs playing no double zone. Extremely deep in left, Fowler deep in center. Hayward not quite as deep in right. A little bouncer slowly toward Bryant. He will glove it and throw to Rizzo. It's in time, and the Chicago Cubs win the World Series. The Cubs come pouring out of the dugout, jumping up and down like a bunch of delirious 10-year-olds. 
The Cubs have done it. The longest drought in the history of American sports is over and the celebration begins. It's never felt better to fly the W. Congratulations, 2016 world champions from a proud partner of the Chicago Cubs, State Farm. Great scene on the field, bear hugs, absolute joy. The Cubs have done it, their first world title since 1908, and fittingly, Ron, it was a ground ball to Chris Bryant, who threw the ball to Anthony Rizzo, two guys who will be battling for the most valuable player award here in a few weeks. Kind of a fitting conclusion to the ball game. It really is. What what a ball game. What a, what a tenth inning. And to me, the wait is over, right? It is over. The Cubs are World Series champions. How does that sound, partner? Well, it's a, it's a long oh. time coming, but it sounds wonderful.